In this tutorial, I will teach you how to draw a 3D guitar in BrickSketch. We will start by making 2D drawings of the body and the neck, and then we will make them 3D by extruding them. Afterwards, we also are going to add some details. Okay, so first we will make a 2D drawing of the body. For this, draw a circle with a radius of 50 units and with a radius of 70 units. Then move the bigger circle 100 units downwards. Okay, after this, select the circle command and type in TTR. Select the first circle and second circle and type in a radius of 40. As you can see, this is going to create a circle that's tangent to our two existing circles. Then draw an ellipse with the same horizontal radius as the big circle and a vertical radius of 50. Then we are going to draw a middle line. Select everything and type in trim. Then trim the following lines. And then go ahead and delete the rest. Then at the top and bottom create two small lines of 15 units long. And then mirror the profile opposite the middle line. Then to create a hole in the body, draw a circle at the top with a radius of 20 units and then move it 65 units downwards. So now we have our complete 2D body. Now we will start by drawing our neck in 2D. For this, start from the top and draw a line of 140 units upwards. At the top of this line, draw a small horizontal line of 8 units. And then for the following line, by pressing the tab key, you can enter an angle of 89 degrees. And let this line end at the circle. Now we are going to mirror this line opposite the existing vertical line and then extend the horizontal line at the top. And afterwards you can delete this middle line. Okay, now we are going to draw the bridge. For this, draw a rectangle of 65 units by 15 units. Then grab it at the middle of the top line and move it to the center of the circle. After this, move it downwards by 65 units. Now inside this rectangle we are going to draw a smaller rectangle with the same width but with a height of 5 units. And move it to the middle of this bigger rectangle. So that leaves us with our bridge. Now for later use in this tutorial, we are going to create two different copies of the neck. For this, copy the same lines that I do here. And then also trim these copies in the same way as me. Now we are going back to our body. To make things a bit easier, we are first going to join the outline of our body. So select everything and type in join. And then create an offset of this body with an offset distance of 2 units. Then also join these parts. Now select everything and make a copy of it. And 
and we are going further with this copy. To create a 3D body, select the outer profile and extrude it downwards with 30 units. If you change the view to modeling, you can see these solids. Now select the inner profile and extrude it as well, but make sure to select create because otherwise it's going to subtract it from the existing solid. Pick a height of 28 units. So now we have two overlapping solids. The small solid is meant to create a hollow space inside the body, but for this we still have to move it one unit downwards. Now go back to wireframe and subtract the smallest solid from the bigger one. Now the hollow space is created, but we still have to punch out the hole. For this, just extrude it downwards. To create a 3D bridge, extrude a smaller rectangle with 8 units. And then extrude a bigger rectangle with 5 units. After this, just union these two solids. Then go to Fillet and select the following edges. Choose a radius of 2. Okay, so now the bridge is done. Now we are going to start modeling our neck. For this, go to the second copy and draw a horizontal line at the bottom. Move the sign 10 units upwards. Then trim the unnecessary parts. Now we are going to extrude the upper part downwards by 7 units. Then we are going to do the same with the lower parts, but by 30 units. Then go to the first copy and extrude it upwards by 5 units. Then move this part on top of our other parts. Now we are going to move all these solids to our existing body. So grab them by this point and select the corner of the 2D neck. Now we are going to create a small connection part. For this, draw a right angled triangle in the YZ plane. Pick a height of 7 and a width of 2. Then select this triangle and type region. So it becomes this surface. Then move the surface to our neck. and extrude it so it takes up the whole width of the neck. Then we are also going to extrude the upper solid a little bit further so it covers this connection part. Okay, now we are going to make the headstock. For this, extrude the tilted surface with 35 units. Then pull out the side surfaces by 5 units. To make the following steps a bit easier, we are going to change our user coordinate system. For this type in UCS and select this line as the X axis and this line as the Y axis. In our new XY plane, draw a circle with a radius of 1.5 units. Then make a rectangular array of this circle. Select columns and type in 3. And as a distance between the columns, choose 10. Then select rows and type in 2. And as a distance between the rows, choose 11. To define the middle of our head, we are going to draw a diagonal line. And to define the middle of our array, we are going to connect two middle circles. Now we can easily move our rectangular array to the middle of our heads. The helping lines can be deleted and the array has to be exploded. Now select all the circles and extrude them by 4 units. Then 
Now we are going to fillet some edges. For this, go to the fillet tool and select the same edges as I do. Choose a radius of two units. Then do the same for the following edges. Also choose a radius of two. Okay, we still have our 2D neck profile somewhere in our drawing and we are going to use that to create our nuts and our threads. Before we do this, we have to change our user coordinate system back to the way it was before. Type in UCS and select the X axis and Y axis. You can use the 2D profile of the bridge as reference lines. Okay, now we are going to start by drawing the nuts. For this, move the upper line of the neck profile two units upwards. And then connect the following points. Then somewhere else create a horizontal line and offset it with an offset distance of two. Then move these two lines to our neck profile and then move them again 15.6 units downwards. So that creates our first thread. To create the other threads we are going to copy these two lines a few times downwards. This will be at set distances. So to make it a bit easier, I will insert a list on screen of all the distances and I will speed up the process. And then when all the frets are there, we are going to trim the overhanging parts. And after this, also the lines between each thread. For the lowest thread, the trimming will be a bit different, so make sure you do this right. So you need to end up with two separate parts of the lowest thread, like this. Then copy all the threads and the nuts and move them to the existing 3D model. Then extrude the nuts with a height of 2 units. Do the same with all the threads but with a height of 1.5 units. To make the nut and the frets a bit more detailed, we are going to fillet the upper edges with a radius of 0.5. So first go ahead and select all the edges. And then afterwards enter the radius of 0.5. So after that we have the complete 3D model of the guitar. There are still some lines in our drawing, so we are going to delete them all, starting with these ones. And then open the structure tab. Here you see all the remaining arcs and lines. 
So delete everything until we only have solids. Lastly, we are going to add materials to everything. For this first union, the following solids. After that, we can go to the material tab and type in the wanted material. I'm going to take pine and then you can drag the material to the wanted solid. So I'm giving the body, the neck and the head a light color of pine. And then I'm taking a darker color of pine and I'm dragging it to the bridge and the fingerboard. When all the materials are applied, the 3D drawing of our guitar is done. So now you can change the view to realistic to get a more realistic view of the drawing. And then this is it. Thank you for watching.